Now, this is another one of those instances where, depending on if you're hovering over your mesh or away from your mesh, Tab will do a couple different things. So one of the things it'll do, if you hold down Tab and then grab an edge, it'll just extend that one edge. Uh, alternatively, if you hold down Control Shift and Middle Mouse Drag, it'll it'll um, move an entire edge loop. And if you hold down Control Shift Tab, it'll extend. I'm sorry, not Control Shift. I uh, just Tab and Middle Mouse Drag. It'll extend an entire edge loop, and hopefully. Uh, snap one of the verts. If it doesn't, you can just again just snap those verts manually. Whoa, I did a crazy snap. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down Control Shift and just tap this big face and just deleted that. And then I can just um, tab, drag this one over and snap it. So now, alternatively, if you do tab and drag away from your mesh, it'll actually draw a quad strip. Now, this quad strip is determined by if you scroll down, there's a quad strip width. And you don't have to go down here and change that. If you do tab and then middle mouse drag, it'll actually change that quad strip size. So if you want to match it up with like this one right here, you can kind of go, okay, I want it to be about that size. And then you can hold down tab and just start drawing out here. And I'll go ahead and draw a quad strip. You can do control shift and just get rid of that face. And then you can tab, drag this one out and just snap it to that one. So you can actually drag out quad strips that you can make different sizes if you want. I'll just do one right here. So again, that's just tab, and you want to set um, your size. So you want to do tab middle mouse to set the size, and then there's tab and drag. And it seems to be having a little problem with that problem with that first one. But again, just control shift, hover over that face component, and then just tab drag. Or if you just want to extend this one, and you can just snap it. Or if you want to bridge both of these, just tab drag, and it'll go ahead and snap. Now, if you do tab middle mouse drag, let's try and snap both of these together. And that did a pretty decent job. And then you can go through here and just use the move brush to go ahead, or not move brush, but just hover over component and you just go ahead and move these things around. And again, if you want to go ahead and just do like this entire edge loop, that would be control shift, middle mouse drag. And you'll see it's already highlighting that entire edge loop. And then you can just go ahead and just move and snap to the underlying surface. Another one that has two operations is shift. So if you shift drag over a mesh, uh, like this, so you see how relax comes up. You can actually go through and just kind of relax these um, vertices right through here. Anywhere where you need to just kind of relax, you can kind of just do that. Now, if you hold down shift, I'm sorry, if you hold down shift and you're in between objects, that's again just when you create dots. And if you don't have dots, it'll just connect uh, in between these edges. Now, it's having a little bit of a hard time connecting these two. So that's, in that case, I would just do like a tab um, middle mouse and just connect those up or just a tab single to go ahead and just drag one edge up. And if you go ahead and want to just move these verts down and put another edge loop in here, again that's just either control click or control middle click, whichever one you want to do. So if you control click you can kind of position. If you control middle click it'll go ahead and just snap it right to the middle and then it goes ahead and snaps to your surface as well. And if you want to do the whole thing, again that's just control shift middle mouse drag and that'll just move the entire thing while snapping to the surface. Now if you want to, I can hit W, go into object mode, and now I'm in just regular Maya mode over here. I'm not using any of these things. And you can just use any of the other tools. If you want to hop back in and you want to do like a target weld, you can hop into target weld mode. And go back into object mode, choose target weld, and then you can just do vertices to vertices. Just go ahead and just like target weld. There's bevel, separate, boolean, combine, tons of really cool things. Bridge faces in here, they're all really cool. And of course quad draw is super powerful. So now that we've done that, if I hit delete, go in W object mode and then just delete that one. If I bring my reptile back, looks like I lost an E on there. There we go. Hit shift H to unhide it. And now if I want to, I can go right back into quad draw and it'll take this whole mesh and now it's a quad draw mesh that I can go in and use all of those tools I just described to go ahead and add, uh, change some of this geometry. So you're gonna wanna be in object mod mode, quad draw, and now all of these tools and all of these uh, modeling toolkit tool tools are available to you.